Attach the boom to the front tubes with the pin lock. Roll out the wing on the ground and double fold the wing by placing one half of the wing on top of the other. Push both front tubes of the rig simultaneously into the sail's mast pockets and make sure that the boom is pointing towards the back of the wing. Place the wing upside down on the ground and pull out the tube joints through the mast sleeve openings. Then rotate the wide tubes and fit the free end into the innermost joints of the front tubes. Snap the knob of the safety catch so that the tube is firmly connected. Fit the cross tube into the outermost joints of the front tubes. You'll find it easier to fit the second end of the cross tube if you keep your knee or foot on the front tube and push down the boom by the Y joint. Using the same technique, tension the cross tube. Note that the stronger the wind is, the longer the cross tube needs to be. To insert the front tube extensions, you need to pull up the sail along the front tubes, but be careful with the battens. Push the front tube extensions into the ends of the front tubes, so that the convex surfaces face forward. Then pull back the sail over the front tube extensions, making them bend in an arch. Tension the sail by tightening the webbing band from the front tube extensions through the lock at the sail tip. Also here, it is important to notice that you'll need more tension the stronger the wind is. Tighten up the cord at the rear of the sail by firmly pulling it through the cord lock at the back of the boom. Again, the stronger the wind, the more tension you will need. Finally, tighten up the webbing band around the boom. This creates a spoiler shape that prevents the wing from nose diving. The basic rule here is more tension equals less diving. Less tension equals more power. The kite wing is now ready for use. Keep the wing flying neutrally above your head. Place the front foot in the foot strap with the board pointing 45 degrees from the wind. Sheet in with the back hand and step up on the board with your other foot. Find your direction and trim the wing. When you step up with your back foot, you don't need to put it into the foot strap straight away. You can first pick up some speed which will stabilize the board. Before you enter the water with the wing, it's good to practice water start on land. Sit down on the ground with the wind from behind and keep the wing flying neutrally above your head. Sheet powerfully in with your back hand. At the same time, bend your knees and let the wind lift you up standing. If the wing would happen to land upside down in the water, it's easy to turn it back. Simply push up the nose from the water and let the wind assist you turning the wing. Once the wing is on the right keel, turn it around so that the nose points against the wind. When preparing for the water start, float on your back and keep the wing flying neutrally above your head. Insert the feet, front foot first, into the foot straps 
and point the nose of the board almost against the wind. Let the board float on its edge. When you practice your first water stance, it's good to have someone to assist you. It's much easier to get up from the water if someone helps to lift you up from the harness. When you've practiced this a few times, you can try on your own. Sheet in powerfully with your back hand. When you think you sheeted a lot, sheet in 30 centimeters more. At the same time, bend your knees heavily and you'll almost fly up from the water. Once up from the water, find your direction and trim the wing. Before entering the jibe, take out the back foot from the foot strap, turn the board and at the same time lower the wing at the downwind side by letting off your back hand and grab the free wide tube. Then let go of the now lower wide tube and grab the boom with the new back hand. Pick up speed on your new direction and change your foot stance.